Let's start with testing your attention to detail a bit. Take a look at two friends, Ariana and Brooke. Can you tell which one of them is richer? It must be Ariana. Look, she has an original Louis Vuitton purse. Cameron and Dean went fishing on a lake in the middle of winter. Here are photos of them. Cameron is posing with just a little bit of clothing when it's freezing cold, and Dean is posing with a big fish he caught. Which one of them is less smart? It's Dean. Look, the ice on the lake is cracking. It's dangerous to stay there. Everly and Jasmine are in a hurry to get to work. They're running late. Everly is going her usual way, and Jasmine has taken a shortcut. Which one of them is in danger? Jasmine, look, she's walking close to some buildings. There are icicles hanging there. It's very dangerous to walk under them. Noelle and Nash are walking outside. Which one of them is in danger? It's Noel. Even though Nash is blind, he has a stick and he'll know that there is a hole. Noel might not notice this because she's too focused on her phone. For her wedding anniversary, Charlotte received a diamond necklace. Next evening, she was having dinner with her friends and showed the necklace to them. She let them look at it and left for the bathroom. When she returned, the necklace wasn't there. Her oh, friends no. told her that she had taken it with her. Take a look at the pictures before and after and tell where the necklace is. Look at the glass of juice of this woman. Seems like there's more juice in the second picture, but it's not true. She just put the diamond necklace in the glass and the juice level rose. Esme was having a walk in the forest and got lost. She came across a witch's house and asked her to take her home. The witch agreed on one condition. <laughs> there were three cards. Two of them said stay and one of them stated free. They were facing down and Esme didn't know which one was where. If she picked the free one, she would go home. Otherwise, she'd have to stay with the witch. There was a hint. One stay card wasn't in the middle. The second stay card wasn't next to the other one. Which one should Esme pick? If one stay isn't in the middle, it's either on the left or on the right. Otherwise, if the other one can't be next to it, then it's definitely not in the middle, but on the other side. So, Esme should pick the middle card. It must be the free pass. Ava needed to sneak into her mom's computer to delete an email she had accidentally forwarded to her, but the account required a password she didn't know. Uh -oh. Luckily, there was a hint, and here's what it said. What do you think the password is? The second number is the number you get if you multiply the digits the first one consists of. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 8 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. Similarly, 4 times 9 is 36. And 7 times 8 is 56. So, the password must be 3656. Gianna owns a factory producing cars. Three workers can assemble three cars in three days. How many cars can one worker assemble in one day? If three workers assemble three cars in three days, then one worker assembles one car in three days. So, in one day, a worker assembles one-third of a car. Eloise woke up in a dark dungeon with only some torches lighting it up. There was a door, but it was locked. There was a panel with buttons of different colors and a plate with the word GROW written on it. How can Eloise get out?
The word is the hint, and the letter it consists of are the first letters of the colors of the buttons Eloise has to press, in respective order. Which are green for G, red for R, orange for O, and white for W. Miel likes everything to be in perfect order. Her room is very organized, and even her collection of numbered marbles is sorted into three boxes. In the first box, there are marbles with numbers 1, 2, and 7. In the second box, there are marbles numbered 1, 4, and 5. Two marbles in the last box have numbers 6 and 3 on them. What's the number on the last marble in the last box? The sum of numbers on marbles in each box is 10, so the number on the last marble should be 1. Ashley arrived on a remote Greek island to spend her getaway vacation alone. All the locals there tell the truth and all the tourists always lie. Two girls approached her and one of them said, Hey, I'm Paige. I'm a tourist here. And this is Sophia. She's from here. Can you tell if either of the girls is a local or a tourist? Since locals always tell the truth, a local would never call themselves a tourist. So, Paige must be a tourist, which means that she's lying about Sophia being a local. So, Sophia is a tourist too. Calliope is a queen of a remote island country that no one has ever heard of and that isn't on any maps. She wanted to make sure that there are more girls being born in her country, so she passed a new law. Every family should give birth to their descendants until they have a daughter. After they have a daughter, they can't have any more descendants. With this law, what will be the ratio of men and women in the country after many years and generations pass? With every birth, there's a 50-50 chance of having a boy or a girl. So, it doesn't matter how many are born in any family the ratio will always stay more or less one to one. This law will only ensure that there's at least one girl in every family. Hannah found her old necklace which is now broken into five short chains, having four gold links each. She took it to a jeweler asking him to fix it. The jeweler said the cost of repairing it is $10 for every link he needs to open and reseal. So, since he will break a link in each chain, it will cost $50 to repair it. Is there a better way to do it that will cost Hannah less money? A more efficient way is to break the four links in one of the pieces and use each to seal the remaining four chain pieces with them. This way, it will only cost Hannah $40 to repair it. Okay, now let's take a little break and have fun. I'll show you some emojis, and your task is to guess which movie they describe. Here's the first set for you. What do you think? Yes, that's The Lion King, of course. Nothing hard. Here's the next one. Any ideas? Beauty and the Beast, another Disney classic. This one is my personal favorite. Have you seen it? It's Up, a must-watch animated movie. Let's try something newer. Can you recognize this one? This is Encanto. Moving on from the animation a bit, what is this movie? I bet you know it. It's Alvin and the Chipmunks, a movie about singing chipmunks. After a long road trip, Lily finally arrived at her friend's wedding venue in another city. The food looked very appetizing and Lily was starving. So she headed for the table, but suddenly the lights went off and Lily fainted. 
She woke up the next day with a terrible headache, just like all the other guests. None of them remembered anything about how the party ended. Look at these two pictures. They were taken before and after the lights went out. Can you guess what happened at the party? The balloons popped. Someone had filled them with sleeping gas. This person wanted everyone to fall asleep. It might have been done to help the bride run away because she's absent this morning. Jill is an art teacher. One morning, she entered her art studio and got very surprised. The entire wall and the students' drawings were stained with paint. Jill interviewed three suspects. The cleaning lady hadn't cleaned the class the day before because she'd had a day off. Jill's student Rosie said that she had left the studio at 6 p.m. At that time, everything was okay. Another student, Rick, confessed that he had brought his girlfriend to the studio to show off his paintings. But they left at 8 p.m. Who is responsible for this mess? The cat! It got into the studio through an open window. Take a look at this picture. Why did he tie his friend down? It's a full moon. His friend began turning into a werewolf and the guy got scared. Two guys are trying to get Hillary's attention by showing off their money. The first man sends her a selfie of him near a private jet, and the second sends a photo of him wearing a pilot's uniform and flying a jumbo jet. Whose salary is higher? Pilots earn good money, so the second guy is definitely well off, and the first guy probably just works at the airport. Four artists gathered in a park to paint landscapes. Having finished his first drawing, Bill went to the bathroom. When Bill returned, he found out that his drawing was ruined. He was very upset and questioned his friends. Stephen didn't see what happened. He was away buying coffee for everyone. Dylan didn't look at the paintings. He was distracted by a conversation with a beautiful woman. Kelly said that she'd been painting her own portrait in another part of the park. Who's lying? Kelly, if she had been painting, why is her canvas blank? Stephen had a rough day at college, so he decided to relax and went to his favorite restaurant with other students. Sam, Jill, and Jules each ordered a cappuccino. Rebecca, Peter, and Helen each ordered an espresso. What drink did Stephen order? Cappuccino or espresso? Espresso. Stephen has two letter E's in his name, just like Rebecca, Peter, and Helen. Can you spot anything weird in this picture? This coconut doesn't look as fresh as the others. Henry was walking along the street. Suddenly, a witch appeared in front of him. She opened a portal, grabbed Henry, and took him to her castle. Henry asked her to let him go, but the witch said, Now you will serve me forever. Henry had a notebook and a pen in his pocket. He offered the witch a deal. If I write your weight in this notebook, will you let me go? The witch was very intrigued and agreed. Henry wrote something down, and she had to let him go. What did he write? As promised, Henry wrote, your weight. Can you guess the food by these emojis? It's sushi. How about this one? Hot chocolate. Let's take it up a notch. Can you guess the dish by these emojis? It's pizza. How about this? It's a cheeseburger. Hey, how about some tricky riddles that will put your brain to work? Ready? How fast can you solve this one? 
Grace has seven sons and each of them has a sister. How many children does Grace have in total? The answer is eight. I bet all the sons have the same sister, so seven sons plus one sister equals eight children. Stephen's family was away this weekend, but he was found unconscious outside his mansion. Investigators had three main suspects. All of them were in the house when it happened. The first person was Maya, but she claimed to be innocent. I was cleaning the house in the morning and I took a nap in the afternoon, she told the investigators. John, the butler, said, I was told to check the food inventory in the afternoon. And the last person to be interrogated was James, the driver. He claimed he'd been far away from the house that day. Yeah, I was driving the boss's children to a garden party. Which of these people do you think is guilty? It was James. All family members were away that weekend. So, his alibi can't be true. What English word has the same pronunciation even after you take away two of its three letters? It's B. Phew, that one took some work. Look at these images and try to guess what's wrong. Duh! In the last picture, the woman is trying to eat soup with a fork. Like that would work. On a lazy Sunday afternoon, seven friends decided to go to the mall. Esme, Evelyn, and Elise grabbed a cup of coffee each, while Ava, Ella, and Emma decided to drink some refreshing soda. Using this logic, can you figure out if Esther chose to drink coffee or soda? Esther is drinking coffee. The secret is in the girl's name. Esme, Evelyn, Elise, and Esther all have two letters E in their names, just like the word coffee. There were four pairs in the basket and four people in the room. Each person took one pair. In the end, there was still one pair left in the basket. How is that possible? The last person took a pair that was still lying in the basket. Mary's birthday was coming up and she decided to treat herself to a relaxing day at the spa. During a massage, Mary dozed off. When she woke up, the money she had in her purse was missing. Oh no! Mary had three suspects. The cashier, Erica, claimed, I was having lunch in the back. Catherine, the masseuse, said, I went to the back of the store to get some extra oil. The last person was Monica. She was another customer. She said she hadn't seen anything and had just been waiting for her appointment. Can you tell which one is the culprit? The thief is Catherine. She must have waited for Mary to fall asleep and then took her things. Look at the money hidden behind the oils. Hey, it's time for a hair appointment to trim those split ends. But in this scenario, there are only two hairdressers in town who can cut your hair. This guy or this girl? Which one should you choose? The girl, of course. If there are only two hairdressers in town, that means they cut each other's hair. And judging by the haircut the guy gave the girl, it looks like he doesn't really know what he's doing. If a rooster lays an egg on top of this cabin, in which direction will it roll? Aha! Roosters don't lay eggs, so it wouldn't roll anywhere. The shopkeeper of an expensive skincare store called the police because someone had robbed his business. He didn't notice the culprit, but according to the security camera footage, there were three customers in the store at the time of the robbery. Police officers questioned each of them. Michael said he'd been buying some stuff for his pets. The second suspect, Kayla, was looking for ointments and some aloe vera gel. 
The last person, Rachel, told the interrogators she'd been busy looking for lotions. Can you tell who's lying? Michael is the culprit. The skincare store doesn't sell pet products. Duh. Peter is a rich man who owns a lot of expensive jewelry. One day, he woke up and noticed that all of it had been stolen. Uh oh. He called a private detective to solve this case. Peter's wife Carla was the first one to be interrogated. I was showering at the time, she said nervously. Bianca, the housekeeper who had been working for the family for years, was not in the house. She said, I was cleaning the garage. The last suspect was Barb, the house chef. I was making lunch for the family, she told the detective. Can you tell who stole the jewelry? It was Barb, of course. She claimed she was cooking lunch, but the crime happened at night. A man lives on the 80th floor of a high-rise building. On rainy days, he takes the elevator all the way up. But on sunny days, he only takes the elevator halfway to his floor. And then he takes the stairs the rest of the way. Why does he do this? Well, my friends, it so happens that the man is short. Normally, he can only reach the 40th floor button. But on rainy days, he manages to push the 80th floor button with the help of his umbrella handle. Genius, huh? On a rainy day, Miranda decided to work from home. At one point, she went to the bathroom. But when she got back, she noticed that her cell phone and money had been stolen right in her own house during the day. There were three people in the house at the time. Her sister Beth claimed it wasn't her. I was still asleep at the time because I'd gone to bed late yesterday. Her other sister, Anna, said she'd been taking a stroll in the garden when it had happened. I was watching the night-scented orchid bloom. And lastly, there was Josh, Miranda's boyfriend. I've just got home for lunch, he said. What do you think? Which of these three suspects stole Miranda's money and cell phone? Anna is the culprit, of course. Night-scented orchids only bloom at night, so she probably sneaked in and grabbed Miranda's things while the girl was away. A farmer rode into the village on Monday. He stayed in the village for four days and rode out on Monday. How is that possible? The farmer's horse is named Monday. I bet you didn't guess this one, did you? Uncle Ben's farm experienced a terrible downpour and all but 15 pigs were missing and couldn't be found. How many pigs are still in the barn? If you said 15, you got it right! So, there are three important rooms in a house. The first one is a library full of rare books. The second room stores piles of money and gold. And the third room has boxes full of expensive jewelry in it. In case of a fire emergency, in which room will the police try to extinguish the fire first? The correct answer is none. Police officers don't fight fire. That's the job of firefighters. Someone robbed a bank last night. Its manager doesn't want the clients to know about it, so he hasn't told any details to the press yet. The police have found three suspects. All of them have been previously accused of similar robberies. The police officer asked, What were you doing when the robbery happened? Stacy claimed she'd gone to bed at 11 p.m. Dan said, I was bowling with my friends between 1 and 2 a.m. Ryan said he had spent the whole night in a hospital with his granny. Who robbed the bank? It was Dan. The police officer didn't mention when exactly the robbery had happened. Then how did he know it? Kelly was walking alone in the forest. She found a picturesque spot and began to record a dance for her TikTok. But suddenly, she fell into a cave. Kelly looked around and noticed four doors. 
There were hungry lions behind the first door. Venomous insects were hiding behind the second door. Behind the third door, there was a tunnel that was on fire. And there were live wires behind the fourth door. Which way is safe? The fourth door is the safest. There's enough space for Kelly to crawl under the wires. Can you find a panda among these people? It's over there! Miss Green recently got the job of a college teacher. She decided to start her first class with a small test. The woman watched her students during the test very attentively and noticed that three of them were cheating. Who? Look at this guy's knee. And this young lady is holding a book under her desk. And this young man over here has a bottle with the answers written on it. Can you find the odd emoji? Something is wrong with this guy's teeth. Harry woke up in a creepy abandoned hospital. He searched the area and only found an old cart. He went further and saw four doors, but there were dangers lurking behind each of these doors. Angry werewolves were waiting behind the first one. The floor behind the second door was all covered with toxic acid. There was a wicked witch behind the third door, and there was a fire blazing behind the fourth door. What should Harry do? Harry should choose the second door and use the cart to get to safety. Can you find the odd fish? Here it is. Gemma decided to follow her dreams and move to a cute house in a small village. She found several boxes in the basement and organized a garage sale to sell that stuff. Gemma put up an ad, everything for $1. Leah bought an old chess set, Peter purchased a mirror, and Daniel bought an old jewelry box. When they left, Gemma's neighbor came over and told her that she'd made a mistake. She had just sold a very expensive thing for a song. What item did she mean? Not the chess set because it's made of plastic. And not the mirror because it's cracked. She meant the jewelry box. Look at how Daniel is carrying it. The thing's heavy and probably filled with expensive stuff. Can you find the odd emoji? Here it is. Peter and Wendy had a picnic in a beautiful park. Suddenly, it started raining and they hid in their car. That's when Wendy noticed she had left her phone outside. Peter returned to the picnic spot but found no phone. Luckily, the thief couldn't get far. So, Peter entered the nearest cafe to check the customers. He saw three people inside. The guy immediately figured out who had taken the phone. Can you guess who the thief is? It's the second guy. He's the only one with wet hair and clothes. On his birthday, Jason invited three friends on a hiking trip. They found a beautiful wild beach and decided to stay there for the night. In an hour, one of Jason's friends disappeared. They separated to search for him, and the other two friends also vanished. Can you guess what happened? Jason's friends decided to prank him. They're waiting for him with a birthday cake on a boat. Mary had just returned from a two-day business trip. She's starving, so she rushes to the kitchen. She opens the fridge to get some snacks. Can you help Mary throw away spoiled food? This apple has gone bad. Some weird loud sounds woke Emily in the middle of the night. She ran to her roommate's bedrooms to check on them. Both Mia and Sam were sound asleep. In the morning, Emily found out that their house had been robbed. Mia said that she'd been sleeping and hadn't heard anything suspicious. Sam said that he had returned from a party very late and had fallen asleep immediately. Can you guess what happened? The robber entered the house through Sam's window and pretended to be Sam when Emily came to check on her roommate. 
and the real Sam returned from the party way later that night. A member of an expedition to the South Pole found himself in a frozen cave. He didn't remember what had happened, but he knew he had to get out. The man saw three doors and a note saying what was behind each of them. Behind the first door, there was a hungry polar bear. Behind the second door, there was a room filled with poisonous gas. And behind the third, there was a room with sharp icicles falling from the ceiling every second. Which door should the man choose to survive? He should pick the first door. He's at the South Pole. There are no polar bears there. After classes, Nora stayed at the university. She needed to finish her project. She was sitting in the hallway. Soon, she got hungry. The girl went to grab some food and left all her stuff behind. When Nora returned, she checked her things and called the police. She told them what had happened and reported her wallet stolen. There were three other students nearby. All of them were questioned. Kennedy said she had been texting her friends. Ethan said, I did sit close to Nora for a while, but I didn't see or touch her wallet. Gabriella said she had been in the classroom and just walked out a couple minutes before. The detective listened to them and left without arresting anyone. Why? The detective remembered that Nora had gone to get some food. It means the wallet was with her and couldn't be stolen. The girl lied. (laughs) Three women, Sarah, Mila, and Eleanor, went shopping. Two of them are pregnant, and one is a professional watermelon thief. Yeah, I know, but just humor me. Can you tell which one stole the watermelon? It's Mila. She's wearing heels. It's not the kind of shoes pregnant women would wear. Aurora was spending her summer in the countryside. She often took long walks in the forest alone. One day, she saw a huge mansion. It was obvious no one lived there, so she entered the house. It was dusty inside, but still beautiful. Aurora took some pictures and left the place. When the girl came back home, she looked through her photos. She wanted to pick the best ones to post on her social media. But then she saw one of the photos and screamed. Take a careful look at this photo. Can you see what scared her so much? Aurora noticed she, herself, was in the photo. But it's impossible. She was alone in the house. Stella and Adeline were sisters. Their grandmother once presented Adeline a bracelet. But both girls loved this piece of jewelry very much. So sometimes, Stella snuck into her sister's room and borrowed the bracelet. One day, Adeline came home and noticed the bracelet was gone. She knocked on her sister's door. Stella opened the door, realized it was her sister, and shut it again. In a couple of minutes, Adeline managed to break into the room. She started searching for the bracelet. Stella told her that this time, she hadn't taken Adeline's jewelry. Adeline didn't find anything and had to leave. But on her way out, she remembered something and managed to get her bracelet back. Where was it? When Stella opened the door, she had her hair down. But later, she already had her hair tied up. In those few minutes, she made a bun and hid the bracelet in her hair. On a rainy summer night, Mrs. Miller came home after work. Her neighbor, Mrs. Smith, visited her. The women wanted to have some tea together. Mrs. Smith said her daughter was at a party. She met one of Mrs. Miller's triplet sons there. Mrs. Miller asked which one it was, but her friend didn't know. Her daughter could never tell the guys apart. The problem was all three of them were grounded and weren't allowed to go out until the next week. Mrs. Miller wanted to find out who had broken the rules. She called the boys and asked how they'd spent the day. Ian, the artist, said, In the evening, I was outside drawing. 
Ryan, the musician, said, I spent all day inside writing a new song. Luke, who likes sports, said, I did a workout and spent the rest of the day reading. Mrs. Miller understood which of her sons was lying and grounded him for another month. Who's the liar and how did she know? Ian lied. He said he had been drawing outside, but it was raining. The worried wife. Jason got into a car accident and lost his memory. When he came around in his hospital room, he saw three young women near his bed. But the man couldn't remember who they were. Each of them claimed to be his wife. The doctor told them Jason had to stay in the hospital for at least one more week. Sweetheart, what am I supposed to do if you never remember me? The woman on the left was sobbing bitterly. Honey, I'm so worried. Let's go home. I don't like it here. I'll take better care of you at home. The one in the middle exclaimed. The girl on the right was furious. They're trying to steal you from me. Let's leave this place right away. Which lady is the man's wife? She's the one on the left. She's the only one who's worried. The other two want to take Jason away from the hospital, but he's injured and needs medical care. The Inheritance Jim's uncle Archibald was a wealthy man who loved playing pranks on his relatives. That's why, when he passed away, no one could find his will. But one day, a few years later, Jim was looking through some old papers. Suddenly, his breath caught in his throat. The document he was holding was his uncle's will. It read, I hid all my money and other valuables at 3 p.m. sharp under my favorite cherry tree, right where its shadow ends. The one who digs it out will be my heir. Jim was beyond happy. He was going to be wealthy. He drove to his uncle's posh villa and found the cherry tree. He waited till 3 p.m. and started to dig. But try as he might, his efforts didn't pay off. Confused and upset, he had to return home. Why didn't he find anything? It's been several years since Jim's uncle hid his valuables. The tree has grown taller, and its shadow has become longer, too. Who's poor? These two girls are putting on their makeup and getting ready to go out and have fun. They're using pretty much the same things. Lipsticks, cosmetics, clothes. Their phones look similar, too. But one of these girls is poor. Who is it? Take a closer look at the girl on the left. Her phone gives her away. It's an obvious knockoff. But then again, she saves some money. She won't be poor for long. Who is it? Mark and Liza had been dating for two years. One day, the guy came to his girlfriend's house. He was going to propose to her. But when he made it there, he found Liza with another man. Mark was furious. The other guy got scared and rushed out of the house. Liza was shouting it was her brother, but Mark knew better. Unfortunately, he hadn't seen the guy's face clearly. When he ran outside, he saw three men. Which one is Liza's lover? It's the guy on the left. It's freezing outside. And the other two guys have red cheeks and noses. But the third guy's face is pale because he just left a warm house. A weird choice. Every day, Mark rides his bike to the railway station to get to the college. There are two stops near his home. One is a mile away from his house and the other two miles away in the opposite direction. In the morning, he always gets on the train at the first stop. And in the afternoon, he gets off at the second. Why?
bookmarks home and the stations are on the hill. And this method allows the guy to ride his bike down without any effort. A money problem A notorious criminal caught rich businessman Brian and locked him in a room. I won't let you go until you double the money I leave for you. And the criminal put $5,000 on the table. By the time he returned, Brian had already doubled the money. He hadn't left the room or communicated with anyone. Then how did he do it? He put the money in front of the mirror. A realization. Three friends fell asleep under a tree in the countryside. While they were resting, a boy painted mustaches on their faces. Once the men woke up, they started to laugh. But then, all of a sudden, they stopped. Why? At first, they saw the mustaches on their friends' faces and found it funny. But then, they realized their friends were laughing too. It meant they had mustaches on their faces as well. Mrs. Mitchell fell from the third floor of her mansion. Atlas was walking by and saw it happen. So she called the police and the ambulance immediately and stayed with the woman to make sure she was all right. The girl said she had seen Mrs. Mitchell washing the windows, so it probably was an accident. But Detective Callum didn't believe it and said that someone had pushed her out. Why? The window she fell out of is closed. If it had been an accident, the window would have remained open. But someone closed it. One late evening, someone robbed the arcade. There were three suspects, Ginny, Cyrus, and Charles. Ginny said she had indeed been to the arcade that day, but she was innocent. Cyrus said she had a date that day. She looked at the clock hanging on the wall and left the arcade at 6.30 p.m. Charles said he had been busy playing and hadn't seen or noticed anything. Who's lying? Cyrus. Here's the room he was talking about. But as you see, there's no clock on the wall. Another one for you. Be attentive. Look, the girl isn't reflected in the mirror. Weird. What's wrong here? The calendar claims there are just 30 days in August. Where is August 31st? What do you have to say about this one? It's morning, but there are stars in the sky. But they aren't visible during the day. Everly got into a car accident and lost memory. Two guys, Toby and Dustin, came to take her home from the hospital. Each of them said he was her boyfriend. Can you tell who Everly's real boyfriend is? It's probably Dustin. He has Everly's name tattooed on his arm. Lyra woke up in a dungeon and couldn't remember what happened. The girl saw a door, but once she walked towards it, the wall started to move. Lyra could get out, but she needed to type in the six remaining digits of the passcode. Can you tell what the passcode is? The combination is just a set of two-digit numbers, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So the other six digits are 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8. They make the remaining 16, 17, and 18. In the first row, there are letters L, T, V, and X. In the second row, there are letters A, F, H, K, N, and Z. 
follow this logic. Which three letters should be in the third row? The letters in the first row all require two straight lines to be written, and they're in alphabetical order. In the second row, the letters are also in alphabetical order, and they are made of three straight lines. So, in the third row, there should be letters that require four lines, and they should be in alphabetical order too, which means these three letters are E, M, and W. Antarctica, Australia, Africa, Asia, and Europe. Can you tell what's similar about the names of these continents? All of them start with the same letter they end with. Ada and Celeste are going to work by car and are running late. Who's doing something wrong? Ada, she isn't wearing a seatbelt. Leo and Liberty are going on a date after Liberty has spent a month in London. The woman is driving to the restaurant and Leo has already arrived and is waiting for her. Who is doing something wrong? Liberty, she's driving on the left side of the road. Girl, you're not in London anymore. Georgia is driving her car to school, and Palmer is taking her son to the doctor. Who is doing something wrong? Georgia, there's a cat wandering around in her car. The animal can get spooked, and then it may scratch the driver or hide under the pedals. It can lead to an accident. Eleanor and Fleur return home after spending the night at their friends studying for the test. Can you tell which of them wasn't studying, but was instead at a party? I'd say it's Fleur. She's wearing a dress, high heels, and evening makeup. A college soccer team played six matches in the season. They won two, drew two, and lost two. In total, they conceded two goals and scored three. What are the results of all six matches? Every time they lost, they must have conceded at least one goal. They lost two matches and conceded two goals, which means they conceded one goal in each match. The score of these must be 0 to 1. We're out of conceded goals, so the score of the two matches that ended in a draw should be 0 0. Now, we're only left with the three goals and two winning games. So, in game one, they must have won with the score of 1 0, and in another one, with the score of 2 0. Neo works in an airport. His job is to check ID cards and not let suspicious people in. Take a look at these three ID cards and try to figure out which person has a fake one. The second ID looks suspicious. The month and day of birth are switched, so I'd pay closer attention to his documents. One evening, in the city's Museum of Natural History, the lights went off for three minutes. When the problem was solved, museum workers discovered that a rare and expensive dinosaur fossil had been stolen. The city's best detective came to investigate the case. He had three suspects and asked them what they had been doing when the lights had gone off. Ashley said that she had been in the bathroom. Ben said he had been in another room looking at paintings. Evan said he had been in the room with the fossil, but he couldn't see or do anything because it was dark. Who is lying? Ben, it's the Natural History Museum. There are no paintings. In a little town, someone stole a bucket of chicken wings from a local store. There were three suspects. All of them were customers who had been to the store that morning. 
A detective visited each of them and asked if they'd known anything about the incident. Mr. Gibbs said he'd been in a rush that morning. He had to be home on time for a work call. Mrs. Connor said her family was vegetarian, so she wouldn't be interested in chicken. Haley, a college student, said she had got her orange juice and sandwich and left. Can you tell who's lying? It's Mrs. Connor. She said her family was vegetarian, but take a look at the room behind her back. There is freshly cooked chicken on the table. Tom and Sarah were walking in a forest. Suddenly, a witch appeared in front of them. He grabbed Sarah and took her to a creepy castle. Tom rushed to the castle. He saw through a window that the witch turned Sarah into a frog. When the witch left the castle, Tom snuck inside to save Sarah. He found a spell book and opened it. There was a potion recipe to turn Sarah back into a human. Which ingredients should he add to the potion? Snail. Take away an S letter and you get a nail. An orange heart without a letter T turns into orange hair. Mr. Green is an old artist. He used to live alone, but he hired three nurses to help him around the house when he lost his sight. One day, one of the nurses found him unconscious in his bedroom. She called the ambulance. Police officers also arrived and questioned all the three nurses. Wendy said that Mr. Green asked her to read him a novel, and then she left him to cook dinner. Amy said that she had played video games with Mr. Green, and he seemed pretty healthy. Diana said, I came over and found him unconscious, and called the police right away. Who's lying? Amy, Mr. Green was blind, and he couldn't be playing video games. Four scientists went to a physics conference in one car. It was raining all day, heavily. They drove into a long tunnel. It was very dark inside. When the car left the tunnel, Tina was unconscious. They stopped and called an ambulance. Detectives questioned all passengers. What were you doing when you were in the tunnel? Alex was listening to music with headphones on and didn't hear anything. Bobby was sleeping and saw nothing. Diana was focused on the road because it was raining and she had to drive carefully. Who is lying? Diana. It wasn't raining inside the tunnel. Lily got lost in a forest. She got thirsty, but there were no lakes or rivers around her. What should Lily do? Use the flesh of a cactus, collect water from leaves using a plastic bag, or drink from a dirty puddle. Cactus flesh has toxic elements dangerous for humans. Plus, what a weird cactus it is. These guys don't really grow in forests. Water from the puddle probably contains many bacteria. So the safest option is to collect water from leaves. Bill got lost in a forest. He doesn't have a lighter or matches. Help Bill to build a fire. He should use his glasses as a lens, direct sunlight onto dry grass, and wait until it lights up. He can also try rubbing a branch against another branch, but this process may take hours.